Welcome to section 11.x. So general people, in this section I want to do a bit of review before we get into electrochemistry. So it would be a good idea for you guys to go back to chapter 4 and read up on redox reactions. So what we're doing in chapter 11 is we're going to be studying electrochemistry. Electrochemistry is going to focus on the interaction between chemical and electrical energy. So at the heart of this is the reduction oxidation reaction or the redox reaction. So what I want you guys to remember is that if you lose an electron, that means something is oxidized. If something gains an electron, that means it is reduced. You guys can use the mnemonic device, Leo the lion goes grr, losing electrons, oxidation, gaining electrons, reduction. Also remember what agents are. Whenever we have something as an agent in chemistry, the descriptor word that appears before the word agent is going to describe the action that that agent is going to do. So a reducing agent is going to reduce something else. If it is reducing something else, that means it is oxidized. The same thing with an oxidizing agent. It is going to oxidize something else by stealing electrons, and if it steals electrons, it itself is getting reduced. Now, a big part of chapter 11 is looking at oxidation states. So it would be a good idea to remember the rules about assigning oxidation states. So here is a chart that you guys can use to remind yourself on the rules of oxidation states. It'd be a good idea to go to chapter four and re-memorize how to assign oxidation states and all the rules associated with it. With that said, let's go ahead and practice this out. I want you guys to go ahead and identify all the oxidation states in this compound and tell me what is oxidized or reduced. All right, gentlemen, people, what we're going to do here is we're going to write down our equation and I'm going to write down our oxidation states. And to do a little bit of bookkeeping, I'm going to write the sum of our oxidation states. So for this first compound, MnO4 minus, what we know is Mn has a variable oxidation state. However, oxygen is going to have a minus two oxidation state. So I'm going to go ahead and write its oxidation state as minus two. But to help me figure out what the oxidation state of manganese is, Mn, I need to sum up all the oxidation states. So in this case, there are four of them. That gets me a total of minus eight. Now Mn, like I said, I don't know what its oxidation state is. There's only one of them. So I'm just gonna put X right here. So what I know is that if I sum up the oxidation states, it equals the charge of the molecule. So in this case, X minus eight equals negative one because this is a minus sign on my total compound. So in this case, X has to equal plus seven. So I'm gonna erase this X right here and write plus seven because I figured out what its oxidation state was. So let's go ahead and do our next compound. So the first element we have is hydrogen and it is connected to non-metals. If it's connected to non-metals, it gets an oxidation state of plus one. Carbon has a variable oxidation state, so I'm just gonna put X for it. And again, oxygen has an oxidation state of minus two. So now I'm gonna sum up all the oxidation states. There are two hydrogens, so this is plus two. There are two carbons, so this is two X. And there are four oxygens, so this is minus eight. So I can write down the formula two plus two X minus eight equals zero. And if I solve for X, in this case, X would have to be three. So the oxidation state for carbon here is plus three. So remember the rule for oxidation states, if something is charged, that's the oxidation state of that compound. Here I have manganese in the plus two oxidation state, so that means its oxidation state is plus two. So let's do the last compound here. 
carbon has a variable oxidation state, oxygen minus two. There is only one carbon, so X. There's two oxygens right here, so minus four. So X minus four equals zero. So X here equals plus four. So with that said, now we can go ahead and see what got oxidized and reduced. What you guys will see is that carbon started out as a plus three oxidation state on the reactant side and went to plus four. Since its oxidation state was raised, this was oxidized. Or more specifically, what we would say is that H2C2O4 was the compound that was oxidized. Now we can take a look at manganese. It started out as a plus seven oxidation state and went to plus two. So its oxidation state was reduced. And so manganese in this reaction was reduced or more specifically MnO4 minus was reduced. All right, I hope that made sense and remember to stay safe, Chem1B.